and director Christopher Makato Yogi. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And coach, I hear you just turned 91 years young. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> No, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, let's start with you. You helped put Shamanad on the map. I mean, this was a David and Goliath moment. What was it like retell or reliving that moment from 40 years ago? Well, it's a secret. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to share as much as I can with it. And uh, being involved with Big Ralph Sampson and, and his team, uh, it was an exciting time for all of us, not knowing what's going to happen, but it was exciting for us to be in, you know, be with them at our game. When you found out that there was a, a crew that wanted to explore, <laughs> explore that moment, that incredible moment that you were a part of, what was that like for you? I was dreaming. <laughs> well. I'm, I'm not a guy, I hate to go ahead what's happening, but um, I, I must say that I, I was excited and, and proud of my guys. And Christopher, mm -hmm. how did you get involved in this documentary? Well, I was, this documentary has been in development for a little bit now. Um, Merv and the players are all involved, um, and I was brought on as a, this year as a director um, to steer the creative ship. Um, I think what's important about this story is that it's told from a local perspective, um, it being a Hawaii story, it being a story that I feel like could only happen here in a lot of ways, and it also shows, like, it's a type of Hawaii movie that shows a different side of Hawaii. I mean, I grew up watching sports. I grew up going to UH football, UH basketball. Like, it's a big part of the culture. And so to tell a sports story set here, in the 80s, awesome time. Um, it was really a dream project, so um, I came on board. A dream project. You know, the producer of this film told me that they wanted to uh, work with a director who was locally made so that this was a telling that was truly steeped in the Hawaiian culture. Mm -hmm. This is big. Do you feel like you have this incredible I mean, this was a major moment. Mm -hmm. Are you kind of nervous that you're, so you're making sure that you're doing it correctly, you know? I, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think there's a lot to explore, especially with Coach and with the players, the lives that they've lived both before and after the game. There's a lot there that we can explore. So the game is this huge underdog story. It's an inspiring story. It's this big upset that's you know lived on for 40 years now. But it also, this movie will tell the, the stories of the characters, the people involved. Um, and how they came together to really make this thing happen. As a director, when you're piecing the story together, you're gathering the information, you're gathering the facts, um, what are some of the moments that stuck out to you that you feel that people will really resonate with in the documentary? Oh, God, there's so much. Um, well, Coach's life story. I mean, I, I know that's it's going to be a big part of the movie, where he comes from, how he got into sports, how he got into coaching, um, leading up to the game, I mean, the struggles even, um, when you first started coaching, all of that is just so rich and beautiful. Um, and I think people will really, really get a lot out of watching this movie. Tell me a little bit about what you want, or, or about your life story that will be featured oh, in the film. Yeah, well, <coughs> that's, a, that, that's my favorite subject. <laughs> no, I, I was born uh, in uh, Nanakuli, which is kind of a area on the West End. And um, being involved, you know, uh, without a, mom, a dad, I mean, and um, all we did in, in, in Nana Cooley was play sports. And um, when, when I started, uh, not knowing what, what what's going to happen, like I'm here today. Well, you ended up being a central figure yeah. in Chaminade and here in Hawaii. And, and Christopher, I would be remiss, you mentioned players, I would be remiss if we didn't mention something that was um, a really sore, sad spot for the Silver Swords. And I'm talking about the unsolved murder of one of the players, yeah. Mark Wells. He was found dead. Uh, on Maui in Kaanapali, I believe what he was last seen in 2004. 
Um, and I'm told that this will be explored in the film as well. Exactly. It's a, one of the many um, interesting tangents that the characters in the film takes um, following all the different players in their post-game life. Um, and Coach, you know, he stayed in touch with a lot of these players even after the game had had relationships with them with Mark as well, right, Coach? Coach, what do you think was your secret to success and how the Silver Swords was able to bring down the top-ranked Virginia team? We played the best team, you know, in the country, and uh, let, let's just have a fun and have a good game out there the best way you can. Oh. And that, that was it. And, and my guys were not afraid. They, they, they were not afraid of those big guys. And so that made a big difference for us to, you know, enjoy the game. Nice. Oh, you guys shared such good nuggets. This film, which is called Merv and the Miracles, I can already tell this is going to be so good to watch. Unfortunately, folks, the film is still being developed, but... Can you tell me about the involvement with the Hawaii International Film Festival? Yeah, so tomorrow, Saturday, afternoon at 4 p.m., we're going to be doing a panel where, where, where myself and coach and some of the players will be in attendance and we'll be presenting the film. We'll show some clips from the movie that we've already shot. Um, and also we have a website, MervinTheMiracles.com, which you can go to. And if you were at the game or if you have any stories to share, you can type in a story and they'll come to us. And we love to speak to whoever was there or whoever has anything to say about this game. And Coach, it is an absolute pleasure. And you, sir, are a legend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Thank you very so much. So humble. The, the guys, the guys do all the work, right? <laughs> and I, I appreciate them. And uh, but till today, they're, they're in my heart. So it's good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's send it over to you. Thanks, Bridget. Tomorrow's 90-minute panel with Coach Merv and Christopher Yogi takes place at 4 p.m. at the Entrepreneur Sandbox in Kaka'ako. It's part of this year's Hawaii International Film Festival, featuring more than 180 films from around the world. HIF runs through October 22nd on Oahu, then travels to Maui, Kauai, Lanai, and the Big Island.